Good morning. Come here. Come here. Yes. We're putting this on you so I can see you. All right. You ready? Come on. Yep. Go poop. Go on. Go poop. For those of you tuning in for the first time, I'm Erica, and my family and I breed and raise Cane Corsos on our homestead property. We have been chronicling our newest litter from Cayuse and Asha, but it's time to pause and give you some insight into what my daily routine looks like and give you an update on how Asha is recovering. A lot of people don't realize that Greg and I have full-time careers. Now add that to the fact that we're building a small farm, we have over 20 canines, not all corsos by the way, and we have a new litter, things can get hectic. And to say that our days are busy would be an extreme understatement. When we have a new litter, I spend a lot of time with them and the mother. So Greg and I must split our daily chores. For at least the next couple of weeks, he'll take care of the larger pack and I'll isolate myself away with the new litter and take care of the goats, chickens, ducks, and rabbits. So I'm out here. Um, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. I'm actually running a bit late with Asha and I am feeding and giving water to the chickens. I think if you guys have been following me you know, I got these chickens back in late February or March. I want to say it was early March. And they, of course, are producing now. That's, uh, ow, why did you do that? That's, um, used to be Lucy, but it's now Lucas because he's a rooster. And, uh, I'm going to call him Lucifer if he starts. Yeah. But that's also, this one was Joy. We didn't think that they were roosters. But Tractor Supply duped us. So, uh, Joy is now Joseph E. Banks. And roosters are notorious for being mean. So, I have been literally kicking their rooster butts to let them know who's boss. That's right. I'll kick you in your rooster butt hole. We clear? Are we square? Yeah, we are. Anyway, um, just checking their water, checking their food. They look good. But I'm out here with Asha because she needs the vitamin D and this exercise allows her to get an appetite. Are you thirsty? Don't drink that. I'll get you something to drink. Um, so one of the issues is with some females, um, they can lose a lot of weight in taking care of the puppies. Um, it's just quite demanding on their bodies to produce a lot of milk, especially if they have a large litter. And if they are ex attentive, very attentive, they won't eat. So if you can see Asha, she is definitely underweight. Um, on a good, good day, she should be 124. I don't know what she weighs. We need to get her on the scale, but she is definitely underweight. Don't let the the heavy milk mammary glands fool you. But yeah, you can almost see her ribs. So she has a lot uh, of recovery uh, for her, you know to ahead of her. She has a long road to recovery ahead of her. And um, this is what when people ask, how often do you breed a female? Well, it really depends. Um, you know their general health how taxing the last litter was 
and uh, how soon they can recover. And uh, this is a good example that we wouldn't breed her until she's fully recovered. In fact, her heat cycles are, are uh, annual anyway, so um, we wouldn't expect for her to come back into heat until next year. And by that time, she should be fully recovered. But I couldn't imagine um, any time sooner that, and, than that because we need to work on just getting her weight back up. But um, yeah, she needs to be fed uh, a good nutritious meal several times during the day, small ones, so that she can properly digest it and it will hopefully get her back to recovery. These are our other chickens. Let's see how the water level. Uh, it's okay for now. I think I'll be okay. You guys are scratching all the food out. Um, yeah, it's okay for now. So I think they're good. I'll fill it up a little bit later. And let's go see my rabbits. My okay, so over here I have the rabbits. Well, go back. And we have another rooster. He was a planned rooster before we knew that Joy was Joseph E. Banks and Lucy was actually Lucas. Um, so that's Dennis Rodman down there. We have to separate him because he really tried to get big and bad with the other roosters and basically they kicked his Rodman butt. But we do have rabbits as well. Uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I have eight rabbits, three males and uh, five females. And the intent is of course to breed them. And these will be breeders, but um, we are breeding them for meat. And yes, that's part of our plan to be self-sustaining, not only for um, us, but for the, the entire pack, our corsos. And of course, you know that rabbits are very prolific, and um, so we should be ready to breed them fairly soon. So that's the plan, and that's part of the morning routine. I've got to take care of the goats, the chickens, and the puppies. And while I do that, Greg has the big pack. Um, and once we finish the Titan Village, the all the Corsos can roam in their own area and not bother our other livestock. So people ask, what's next? After this, well, we've been looking into cattle. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, right now, uh, Robin has been relegated to the rabbit, the rabbit area because you don't know how to get along. So his days may be numbered if, <laughs> if he can't get his attitude right. Really? We're doing all of that. You're doing too much. Eggnog. Seriously? You mind? I was hungry and you were taking way too long. I fed your sisters. I don't care about them. I'm getting the best. Hmm. Well, could you get out of it, please? When I'm done. Talk to me in a couple of minutes. Alright, I don't know how this is going to work, but you have to sit down and move over to something. <laughs> is this really going to work? I don't know. Let's give it a try. I guess not. <laughs>
Horatia. I'm winning. So she's just being a tease to them now. They want to nurse, but uh, their sharp claws and their teeth are very uncomfortable for her. So she'll allow them for a couple minutes, then she'll realize, you know, this is not a good idea. Hello there. Hi. Hello. So they can hear very well, they can see well, their eyes look very clear, and they recognize me now, recognize my call. So every time I come in and feed them, I call them. Okay, Asha, you're squeezing, you're squeezing the baby. He's getting hemmed up. Come on, Red, Mr. Red. There, there you go. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna let them nurse for like two minutes and then I'm out of here. Must it be on my lap? If they have no no boundaries. Hi, baby. Hello. And there you have it. Just a mere glimpse into my morning routine. All of that and then some before 9 a.m. and the workday begins. In our subsequent videos, we'll pick back up on the puppy's development and we'll get back to showing you the rest of our Corso pack. But for now, I'm going to get a couple more minutes of my puppy therapy. This is what keeps the stress away and brings joy and happiness in an otherwise uncertain and crazy world. Thank you again for tuning in and following us on our journey. If you appreciated the video, leave us a like. Feel free to share your respectful thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.